Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Kevin Durant and how Under Armour made him a huge offer during his sneaker free agency in 2014. Many people were surprised by the offer as UA hadn't established themselves as a basketball shoe powerhouse, yet they still threw somewhere from 265 to 285 million at Durant to persuade him to become the MJ of their brand. Make sure to check out my past couple of videos, including how Adidas succeeded in getting James Harden to leave Nike, and how Adidas lost out on Kobe to Nike. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comments down below for more Topic Tackle coming soon. Thanks for all the support, and let's get started. So this is one of the sneaker-free agency stories that flies under the radar now, because we clearly know how KD feels about Under Armour, and Steph Curry is the face of that brand. But there was a time, in August 2014, the summer following Durant's MVP campaign that he appeared interested in the idea of joining UA. Well, he might have been more interested in 285 mil, but still. One of Nike's star basketball athletes was on the market and they had to step up their offer to keep him. So was Durant ever really close to leaving Nike to join Under Armour? I definitely thought so back in August 2014. But I'm being recruited to sign with someone else. Just like Kevin Durant, I'm getting the same 10 years 300 million dollar offer that's 30 mil a year to go to Under Armour. Let me know what you think of Kevin Durant going to Under Armour too. But here's what we do know about what UA offered Kevin. First, Under Armour is a Baltimore area based company close to where Durant grew up and many people could see that as an appealing factor. And their offer of 265 to 285 million dollars included equity in the company and a recreational center that would be named after his mother. You know the thought had to cross Durant's mind that UA valued him and could make him the face of their rising company. But we know what happened. As an SB Nation article says, in the reports that followed, it was suggested that Nike had the ability to equal any offer present to Durant. After initially putting out a lower offer, Nike did end up doing so at the 11th hour, matching the dollar amount presented by Under Armour and throwing in a few incentives based on the performance of the sneaker line that could raise that figure to a reported 300 million dollars. After Nike's initial offer, which was almost 100 million less than Under Armour's, Durant won big. 10 years, 300 million to stay with the swoosh. And here's what he said about staying with Nike. Ultimately, my heart was always with Nike and I built such a great relationship with everybody. It wasn't just about any dollar amount with me. It was about who I'm going to be doing life with for the next 10 years. Yeah, we've been through a lot and we've, you know, we've built a great bond. So. I can't wait to see what they have in store. Considering how Nike lost Steph Curry and James Harden by communicating to them that they would not be part of their A-team of NBA players with their own signature shoes, they had to do everything to keep Durant. Usually when a player such as Durant's caliber develops multiple signature shoes with the brand, it's difficult for them to leave. And Durant, he always wanted to stay with Nike, he was just waiting for the dollar amounts to match up. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Nike basketball would have fallen off if Durant left for Under Armour? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.